Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, right now, uh, we're en route to assist an off-duty deputy who has a, uh, a vehicle that's uh, following him, trying to force him off the roadway. Uh, it's sort of a, like a road rage incident. He has contacted another deputy via his cell phone, and we're getting the information relayed to us. Uh, so we're trying to catch up to him and, and assist him and get this guy off his back right now. Covering each other, is that 332 is number two? <laughs> on 512 now from Canyon, 23221. 344 is number three. I'm going to try and get some stop sticks out in front of it. Uh, Try and get this tire flattened on this field. It's going at a high rate of speed. information on the registration. The contract to the city call address 403. I believe unit number 5, 2324. I'm not sure around here. Oh, he crashed. Get your hands behind your back now! Get your hands behind your back! Hands behind your back! Get your other hand behind your back now! Now! You see your hands! You stand it over here! Get him out! Get your hands out and steal! I got both hands here. Double lock. Can you talk to me? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, why are you following my partner? Is that I a pickup truck? I, 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 okay. My girlfriend took off, right? Your girlfriend took yes, off? Sir. Why are you and following my partner's pickup truck? Because the girl. Okay. There's this lesbian. All that stuff, right? I know. Her and my girlfriend are friends. And I thought I did take. Okay. Mm. The place where I was at, right, asking if people had seen her yet today. That truck. You were following an off-duty police officer. I, I didn't know that. And they, when they were, when they, you obviously didn't know who you were following. I thought it was Andreas. Why did you run from us? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. You don't have a driver's license. Maybe you got drugs on you too. What's your kit for? Oh, I don't have no drugs. You don't have any drugs. What's no, the needle for? Those are for drugs. Drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Wow. I'm sure he'll. You picked the wrong guy to do road rage on. I know it wasn't a road rage. I thought because of where I was at, they pulled in. Well, you got your word against another off-duty police okay. officer. Okay. Okay. You go to guys before the camp. Oh really? That's it. Right. Oh really? Your girlfriend. She did that when I was in jail, though. Really? Yeah. So you wrecked her car now? I didn't wreck it. You didn't? No, it's not wrecked. I didn't hit nothing today. What was it in this condition when you started in it? Yes, sir. Oh, it was? She did this when I was, yeah, she did that, that when I was in jail. You got anything else on you I need to know no, about? No, sir. Needles, weapons, no, knives? No, sir. Okay, I'm aware that he searched you, but that was on the ground. Okay, I wear a brace on my leg. Yeah, I noticed that. Okay. That's probably why you didn't run real fast. Yeah.
Let's go have a seat in uh, the police car. Well, he thought his girlfriend was dating around on somebody else, and so he decided to chase who he thought, the truck, my partner's was, truck, was his girlfriend and the guy. It was actually Deputy Papin. It was Deputy Papin. And so he gets a hold of me in my next tell and says, hey, this, this jerk is following me, and we're kind of starting to speed up here a little bit. He's trying to force me off the road a little bit. I don't know who this guy is. I've got my kid, I'm unarmed, and I'm just trying to get to point A to point B, and this joker's trying to run me off the road. I don't know if you can see this over here, but you can look at the, uh, the ignition up here is just totally punched out and pulled out. We got all sorts of drug paraphernalia, doing road rage on a cop, and then all this stuff in the vehicle. Ignition's punched. Pick the wrong guy to do a road rage on. <laughs> hey, how do you man. You know me? <laughs> I tell you, I'm looking my... out for you, man. I... Hey, you got me nervous. I got the best partners in the world. What yeah. can I ask for? Hey, what, so what was going on? Tell us about it. Taking my buddy home after a barbecue, and his car broke down, so I'm giving him a ride, and he decides, all. Oh, you, I'll use your truck. Next thing I know, there's a car following me. I'm thinking, what are the chances this guy just followed me from this uh, dope house? <laughs> well, sure enough, I go by my house. I'm not going to stop at home. And I increase my speeds. Pretty soon, this guy's following me at high speeds, and he's not stopping for stop signs, and I can't shake him. And I decide, well, I'm going to get my partners on the phone to see if they can help me out. Sure enough, this guy follows me for several more miles, high speeds, running through stop signs, uh, red lights, and uh, Next thing you know, the cavalry arrives. He picked the wrong guy to try and come after, did he? You don't mess with Pierce County's mind. We're en route to a domestic disturbance between a husband and wife. Uh, apparently the husband's, or the female's upset that the husband has been seeing another woman. Um, we're gonna go over here and see if we can try to calm things down. Back to 54, 1023. Hey. Hey, Joe. What's going on? I had a wife come over here and she's drinking and she left me April 1st. Yeah. Is she already left? No. That's her car sitting right there. Where's she at now? She's in there. Okay. You don't want her here? Nope. I told her to leave, and she said no. Uh, she left me April 1st. It's the weekend. She's been out here. She's got her own apartment and all that. And I don't want her here. I Why do you refuse to leave if he tells you to leave? Why are you refusing to leave if he tells you to leave? This, is my, this house is in my name, too. You days. don't live here. How long have you been gone? Three months. Okay, you no longer live here. It's because your name's still on it. You have financial rights to it. Yeah, I have financial rights but to it. But you can't yeah, just come that. in anytime you want to. You know. Well, I have a daughter also. Right. Now, okay, she still has belongings and stuff here, and so do I. Well, that's... She has clothes and things. But you've been gone for three months. What right? What would reach? Oh, I've been coming... Come in, no, I've been coming back and forth. Do you normally let her come? Here when she wants to? Yes, sometimes. But uh, she she came in earlier and uh, she seen this girl here, and then uh, she left. And then she came back here a little while ago, and we were sitting in there eating supper. And she came in and told this girl here, she says, if you're gonna live here, says you're gonna have to clean the house. Hell, she don't live here. I just met her what a month ago. And that's the first time you ever been up here. And uh, man, she come in, she's raising hell. Are y'all getting, y'all got any separation papers? No. She, she just left me for that damn uh, donk around the corner here. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's running around with him and, you know. I'm just sitting here behaving myself, keeping my cool. I'm not getting mad. I'm not going after his ass or nothing like that, you know. But, you want me to put a lock on it? Well, you touch anything she's got. You want me to put a lock on it? And let anybody in that in that room. Bring a sheriff with you, and uh, I'll go in there and I'll put a padlock on it, and I will give you the key. Oh, I ain't worried about it. No. I'm I'll come back. She's gonna leave for the night, okay? Well, uh, check her car. Sell much beer. All right. I don't know who's cheating who. Uh, she says that he's cheating on her with the house cleaner, and he says she's cheating on him with the 
old boy around the corner. It's something they're gonna have to decide in court with attorneys. <clears throat> Law in North Carolina says that if you're no longer living in your residence that your spouse still lives in, you've made established another residence that you could be charged with breaking and entering or possibly domestic criminal trespass. In this case, uh, the female's been gone from her residence for three months and uh, she fits the criteria. We're back en route to a disturbance uh, we were at earlier. Uh, apparently the female has returned back to the residence and we're en route to find out why. I'll hold your signal one for your assist agency. Back to 254 is out on Morrison. Never got here. 1024. 1042. That must be how she climbed in the window. Hey. On truck. She climbed in that window? Yeah, she crawled in that window. She took, uh, she took this phone. She took my phone out of my bedroom. Did you see her? Yeah. What'd she say? She said, there ain't no way I can stop her from coming in this house. And she's got my youngest daughter, which is Christina, 16. She was yeah. with her? Yeah, she's got her driving. Because Christina was knocking on the door, and I said, no, you can get your papers tomorrow. You know? Hey, I just don't, uh, I just don't want her busting in here anytime she wants to and come in. Now, that, my phone there is gone. My phone in there is gone. The only thing I got is that little cell phone now. I like to have my phones back. Well, I'm gonna go to her apartment also. Well, okay. All right. All right, partner. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. If she comes back. Give us a call. Call again. Well, apparently she's come back and tried to get into the residence, and she obviously did by climbing in the window. Evidently, she didn't take the warning. What's the deal? Got what? Going back over there. She needed papers for tomorrow. I've got a warrant for your arrest for first yes, degree sir. burglary. Burglary for what? Because you broke in papers? the house. You climbed through the window. Uh, so you have to come downtown. That is not burglary. That is not burglary. So you want to get some pants on? Well, yeah, I need to get dressed. Okay, let's go. <laughs> They put me in jail. No, I have no record at all. Okay. I've never done anything. Well, this is a felony. I'm just trying to make it easier for I you. Saying, yeah, okay, it's there. okay, let's go. <clears throat> okay. Stand by this here for just a second. Here you go. It's a policy. I have no choice. I know. I'm willingly going. I understand. All righty. All right. You ready to go? Yep. Well, you're able to serve the warrant and keep her out of the old boy's hair for the rest of the night. Okay, we just got a call of a uh, person that is completely out of control at a house up here where the people that are uh, inside the house said that they've had to fight with this guy. They've got him tied up. I just got off the phone with the person who called and uh, his words were, get here as fast as you possibly can. What's going on? Who called us? You called us, sir? Okay, come out here just for a second. Where's this guy at? He's in a room. We got him tied down. You guys have him tied up? Yeah. Okay. He's in a room. Who's back there with him? The other guy. What's his name again? His name is Tim. Okay. Come on out here for a second, sir. Let us let us in here. What's going on, sir? Okay, what's up? Dude? What are you doing? 
because they owe me money and they don't want to give it to me, so I told my wife, I might, so they'd Let me see you something here. Try, roll over for a second. Yeah. You been fighting somebody tonight? No. You been arrested in the past? For assault with a deadly weapon. Assault with a deadly weapon? Yeah, that's when I started. How'd you get all this stuff on your chest here, guy? He, he, he started kicking me, man. That's uh -huh. Who, Who's he? That black guy there. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. You know what, let's cuff him. Yeah. And then we'll take the tie off and we'll sit him up on the bed. We're gonna put some cuffs on you and take this tie off, okay, till we figure out what's going on. Take what? The tie. <laughs> Did you get in a fight with these guys? Or is it over money, you said? Yep. All right. It's over money, yeah. It's over money. How much money? It's only 20 bucks. It's society won't pay. And he starts telling me I was drinking and all that. Have you been drinking today? Yes. All right. That was a serious yeah. night. How you doing over there, Deputy Nelson? <laughs> now if you get it off. There's two knots here. Uh, officers. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, let us do this first, and then we'll get you okay, up and we'll talk, sorry. okay? There you go. We're, get, we're getting it. All right. How's that? It's pretty tight. All right. Okay, here's what I want to do. Stand Let's stand you up and go outside so we can get some fresh air. Did you get my wall? Yeah, I'll bring your wallet with you. And we'll go out to my, by my car, and we'll sit out there and talk. How's that sound? All right. Good? Okay. Could you do me a favor? Yeah. Could you do me a favor? What? I'm not that drunk. Okay. Come on. Hold on one sec. Deputy Nelson, I'm gonna walk this guy out to my car because it's sure. like an oven in here. Sir. Sure. This guy's gonna be coming by, go. It's like an oven in that room. I think that's half the problem there, guys. It's like 100, over 100 degrees in your bedroom. You're like cooking to death in there. Ah, man. I got you cuffed up just because these guys said you were out of control. I really don't know what happened, so that's just on for your safety, okay? Okay. Go ahead and just rest your body up against her. Feel better? What happened tonight? He told me I was drunk. I had too much to drink. And how I... much did you have to drink? How much did I have to drink? Yeah. Probably, uh, probably about four or five beers. How, how, we talking 12 ounce cans of beers or big We're tall ones? Big tall ones, yeah. Who started the fight? Did you push him or did he push you? Be honest with me. I would. Be straight up. I'm not gonna lie, it probably was a mutual thing. Probably I didn't. Well, so, someone usually like takes the first punch or the first push or whatever. Was that you? No, I told him I'm gonna call the police. He said, you're not gonna call the police, so he just knocked me down to the ground. He said, you're not calling no police. If you had been sober tonight, would this have happened? If I had anything to drink, would you I think have, this would have happened? Would I, would I have approached him in, 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 in this way is what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Probably so in a way, but maybe not that matter. So you think maybe, I would, do you think that maybe has a little bit of a message there for you? If you're gonna take something up like this, maybe do it when you're not drinking. Can, I, you, can you agree with that? Yeah. I'm just trying to be honest with you, that's all I'm saying. Okay, well hey, I appreciate that. Let's have you sit down in my car real quick. <laughs> Watch your head when you step in there. What's going on with this guy? He was sober for like six months, and I guess today he drank two and a half bottles of that vodka right there. He says he did five, four or five tall cans of beer. It's vodka? Mm -hmm. Are the bottles in there? There's a half one, yeah. Let's go take a look at the bottles. This is his third bottle, which he didn't finish, as you can see. The first one was bigger than this one. The second one was the same size. They're both empty somewhere in the what street. What kind of proof is this thing? Um, uh -huh, 80 proof. 80 proof, so he's feeling no pain. Right. This guy just wants him out of here for the night. He doesn't want anything done. All right. Yeah, maybe he does need to go to the slammer just for the night to cool off a little bit. What do you think? Can't really do F with him in public. That's true, but... He doesn't want to press any charges. He just wants to go somewhere for the night, and I can't guarantee this guy is not going to come back. Yeah, that's true. He walked out of the bedroom and started getting crazy over $20, which he says he never even mentioned, and the security guard says was he was paid months ago, the 20 bucks, but he's the uh, gentleman leaning up against the car. There's the manager of this place. He stays here. It's kind of like a diversion program for uh, alcoholics. How long did it take the security guard to tie those knots on there? 
It took, it took a, a long time, pretty much. Um, I don't want to over-exaggerate. I said about five, ten minutes. Was he that violent that he wanted to tie that many knots on there? Yes, he was sure very secure? violent. Because he, he already broke violent. one set of straps. So he had. Um, he actually um, broke what kind of straps? They're the like, you know, the kind they used to tie cup, down. That's what he's oh, he yeah, did yeah, break uh, through the flex cut? Yeah, he right. broke through he them broke like them. nothing. Just So whose idea was it to use a necktie? Um, it was his idea, the idea, the security guard idea to use the neckties. He told my uncle to run and give his neckties out of the room. What kind of tie was it? Was neck it was like, um, tied like, um, that you would wear with a suit. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, 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 um, nice ties. Not wear. just nice, but effective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Good for wearing around your neck or yeah, good to rope somebody up? Out a lot. Thank God. Boy Scout was here to save the day because the Boy Scout without those, those knots, I don't know. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code three. Things ten. Okay, Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. 